Hello and welcome to App Screencast. This is a video on a new application I've just discovered which I found pretty useful so I thought I'd share it with the rest of you. It's called Renamer for Mac and it's basically an application which makes the job of renaming files really easy. So if you've got a lot of files what you need to rename this application makes it quick and easy. So this could be pictures or it could be music or it could be even video. So here I've got a TV show which well a whole series of a TV show I've downloaded from the internet but when I open it up you can see that I get it from a, a number of different sources so all the files are not uh, named in any sort of uniform manner so for example the first episode is named 301 second episode is 302 but the third episode is, is renamed in a totally different way also here you can see that they're all differently renamed so it doesn't look very good it's not a very good way to have it organized but also if you use an application like Plex which is a media center for this whole season series to show up properly in Plex they need to be re renamed correctly or ne sorry, need to be named correctly but they're, they're not here you can see they're not here. they're just um, it's a bit random you know they're, they are in order but it's not quite how it, how it needs to be especially for Plex because Plex won't recognize them in this way or it, or it might find difficult difficulty recognizing them so we're going to make that job easy for Plex and we're going to rename them all but obviously going through each file renaming them to what it needs to be like for example here deleting this because it's not needed maybe changing it to you know a different way for example season 3 episode 1 going through renaming them all like that is it's going to take me a lot of time and it's going to be a bit of an annoying task, it's not a task I really want to do is there a different way to do it? well yes there obviously there is and it's um, in the manner of renamer for Mac so then what you need to do is you need to get the file where all the TV shows in or, or maybe in your case music and drag and drop them into renamer for Mac you can drag the actual files in individually or you can do it like the whole folder which I've just done now unfortunately, unfortunately in this case the files were that badly named that they hasn't put them in any order so on this in this column here you can drag you can grab them and put them into some sort of order so you can grab you can grab more than one at once if you wish so just drag them put them in into order Take, take a few seconds to do but once you've done that then you can move on to the next step so um, make sure that once you've um, moved them all around make sure that they're all in correct order because they'll be not worse than renaming them wrongly so as I can see they're all right here so you've got a few different ways you can rename them um, the one I use is the number one for it like this so I'll just show you here choose what I want to label it so TV show for example obviously it's, it's, I wouldn't really re rename it TV show but for this exercise I'll call it TV show then I'll, it's season 3 then it's episode then here you can choose where you want the number to start it's going to start numbering them all so as you can see here this is, a set, this is what they look like currently this is how they will be affected when I rename them so we want to start at 1, so it will start numbering from number 1 as you can see it it renumbers them in order and obviously if I change it here it affects it here so yep that's going to renumber them all for me, I'm going to be happy with that I just click rename and they've all been renamed and as you can see they've all changed it this side now so they've all been renamed correctly how I want them to that's one way you can do it by using numbers. There's other ways you can change it by, um, for example, if I want to change this word TV show, I search for the word TV show here. It's found the show, see? It's changing now because it's replacing it with nothing. So I want to replace it with Bones, which that's what actually the show is. It's actually Bones. It's a good TV show if you haven't seen it. And obviously, if I rename, just rename them all. 
going back. It's actually not season three. It's season four. So I'll just change it here. So I want to change that whole bit. Bones season three. I'm going to change it to Bones season four. Rename. As you can see, it's renamed them all now correctly. There's a few other, other ways to rename things. There's quite a lot. You can rename the file extensions. You can change the um, um, letters from capitals to lowercase. You can remove words and stuff. And there's obviously numbers which I showed you at start. You can convert case, like I said. So there's quite a number of ways of changing it. You know, it's it's not an overly hard application to understand once you've had a few minutes trying it out. But you know, it's really it's really good. You know, for renaming files, there's probably no better application in my opinion. I've tried a couple of others, I found them to be rubbish, not actually worked for me. But this is brilliant for renaming um, music. So say you you want to rename an album, and all the tracks uh, need renaming. It's a good way of doing it. You know, getting them all in order. Same same with TV shows is what I find it most useful. But I'm sure other people will find other uses for it. So yeah, that's um, Renamer for Mac. And it's worth checking out. You can get Renamer from Mac from creativebee.com. Um, unfortunately, it's not a free application. It just cost about £18, which is on the pricey side. But in my opinion, um, for renaming files, a lot of files, then I think Renamer is definitely the best application out there. You know, I've tried a few other applications which claim to do the same job. I didn't find them to be very good personally. This is definitely the easiest one to use, and uh, and that makes you a lot faster. And that's all, the whole point of it. You want it to be fast. You want to rename the files fast because it's not a. It's a bit of a chore when you've got to rename the files. So this is definitely worth getting. Um, th this video. It's never meant to be a tutorial on how to use Renamer for Mac. It was just more uh, a taster of what the application is all about. So hopefully you got a good idea, a good grasp of what the application can do for you. If if you do need to rename a lot of files, then I would say download it, give it a trial, see see what you think of it. Obviously, if you don't like it, you've not lost anything. But obviously, if you do like it, then obviously it might be worth buying. And um, if you do need any help in using the application, then obviously check the creativebee.com website out. There's more information on the application. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. And thanks for watching. And please subscribe.